this morning a very special occasion, the 100th anniversary of the end of the First War, a war in which many, many people died. And we remember them, those especially who are engraved here, but all the others who died in that war all the Allied servicemen from all over the Commonwealth. We tend to think of it as British. It wasn't just British. It was Indian. It was Sikh. It was Pakistani. They were all there fighting for us. The Australians, the New Zealanders, the Fijians. So we remember them especially today on this, the 100th anniversary. And we remember those who have died in war, recalling with gratitude the self-sacrifice of men, <coughs> women and children who have laid down their lives in the cause of freedom, justice and peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn of another day has broken upon us. It shines on those who dwell in the darkness of despair. It brings healing to those under the shadow of death and guides our feet in the ways of forgiveness and peace. So let us recall the command of the written Christ that we must love one another, for there is no greater love than this, that we should lay down our lives for our friends. We remember before God those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of others. We pray for all who suffer <coughs> through war and are in need. We ask for his help and blessing that we may do his will and that the whole world may acknowledge him as our Lord and King. Amen. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You, my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you, henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth, 
would I have called you friends, for all the things that I have heard of my Father and I have made known unto you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. We'll now continue with laying of wreaths. Councillor Lynn Hall, Deputy Mayor of Scotland. Dr. Paul William, MP for Sporting Sense. Thornaby Independent Association.
Barnaby Labour Party. Legion laid on behalf by Councillor Silver, Silver Walmsley and Mayor. Servicemen's Association, Cleveland Police, Cleveland Fire and Rescue Service. First Heartburn Seascapes. Academy <laughs> Christ the King School. Church of England Primary. Second, Thornaby Rainbow. Rabbi Sandia. 
Ian Mackey on behalf of the Teesside Humanists. The living salutes the legion of the dead. We will not break faith with them. his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. 